the final episode. Let this be the final episode. My ass hurts and I want to go get, I want to get off this chair. My ass hurts. Y'all fuck. My ass hurts so much, y'all. Would you get up, get your ass up there and do the thing? I'll, I'll take care of, God damn it. Mark, yeah. I died because you wouldn't move. All right, save me and then run. Just go up the thing and get the gorilla. Come on, I'm going up here. I'd like to know how, but I'm sure the answer will infuriate me. <laughs> God damn it. You're gonna die. Go up! Of course I am. There are so many things shooting at me that, like, I'm gonna die. And okay. You're, and you're I think way. the problem oh, is you went, you got in here, and you were just with a double jump again. I just fell off. Like, I can legit, like, jump up here. Where am I? Why am I here? Where are you? Oh, shoot, shoot. Shit, shoot, shoot. Shoot shit. <laughs> it's not like I don't know where to go. I understand where to go. Then how come you aren't doing the thing? Do the thing. In a few months from now, when we're playing Destiny, you can't jump up a simple thing. I have a question. I'll remember this moment. I have a question. What? Why in the fuck do you assume I'll be playing Destiny in a couple of months? I'm more offended by the fact that you're like, yeah, because you're totally going to want to play Destiny. Why? Why would I want that? Why is that something I would want? Go this No, go, want. go back and go around and jump across. Facing the hole. Yeah, go to that side. And then come this no, 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 come this way. It would have just been easier just to come up here. What? Did... Yeah. Because you wouldn't have had to like risk as many jumps. But I don't fucking care as long as you get the goddamn, the goddamn bonsai garden. Is it the last one? Oh, it was not the last one. No. Oh, you. Don't give up. Okay. Oh, I don't want to give up. I want to be the. I want to be the boy who does good. So, Game Grumps have been streaming a lot more recently, and truth be told, it's probably because it's a better way to like get money in because they get donations during streams. Um, it's also less effort. Not really. It's about the... Uh, yeah, because there's no editing involved. It's just mm -hmm. stream. But there's still stuff they have to do. I don't think they stream to YouTube. Like, I think the, the stream gets uploaded to YouTube after the fact. But... When they were getting donations in, they were reading them out. Uh... Uh, you know, you know the whole, you know the running gag, you know, God damn it, Ross. You know, you know the running, you know the running gag. Well, yeah. apparently Aaron, uh, didn't understand. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you white boy. What the fuck? All right. What ended up happening was there was a, a, a fan who kind of like ragged on Ross as like a part of the, in, the joke. Because it's an end joke at this point. Like, it is. But, she uh, decided to, like, you know, double check with Aaron. Like, she had done it, like, hellos ago. Like, where are you? I'm not being saved. Why aren't I being saved? Yeah, because there's a lot of people that don't want you being saved. No, I'm fine. They don't want, they're not over here. Not even, I did what I could, you fuck. 
There was nobody. There was nobody. It was fine. There was like six people in front of you, and then they nah, went back when I did my there were ability. Six. That's an excessive number, six. Yeah, it was an excessive number. There shouldn't have been that many huh. fucking people in front of you. They weren't there when That's I got the there. That's the reason you were on the ground. That's not the reason I was on the ground. I was on the ground because I fell. Anyway, so the girl was like, this happened a while ago. And so the girl was just trying to be like, hey, I really hope Aaron wasn't like really upset with me because I was just, you know, joking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he was just going to be like, nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But then he was like, you know, like, even if it's a joke, like, you know, like there, there are real people behind these things and people's feelings get hurt. You know, so like, even if it's a joke, like, it's not cool exactly yada yada and so <clears throat> is this where the thing is no apparently not and so accolade not a fan of faps or whatever it's called um so basically it got kind of weird because danny was just trying to say like hey sweetheart don't worry about it and it's like it's okay ross was there and he was like yeah it's fine but aaron kind of like was like you know hey you know it's not really okay you shouldn't you know, don't don't say mean things about people because people, you, Aaron, you fucking pussy. Um, I like Aaron, I really do, but Aaron is like a part of that school that like you've adopted, where everybody shouldn't be, everybody should have the right to not be offended. And I feel like I can break that theory by simply saying, if you tell me that I offended you, I can tell you to go fuck yourself because you telling me you were offended is offensive to me, and now we're at a stalemate. <laughs> So, in the comment section, somebody was like, wow, like, that girl was simply trying to, like, you know, just support and say she was sorry, and Aaron kind of, like, went in on her, and he, I wouldn't say that's what Aaron was doing. He wasn't going in on the girl, but he did kind of make it seem like it was a, whoa, fire. <laughs> I like this. Oh, I'm underwater. And I'm already dead, so I don't have to worry about breathing. If I told you I knew where I was going, I'd be lying. I have no idea where where I'm supposed to be going. What is Corvus's thing, birds? Dude, I don't know where I'm going. Were you under the water? Was, yeah, that was just a straight line. There is not a straight line. Hmm. Like, not even kind of. Yeah, no. There might have been, depending on, you know, the orientation in which I was supposed to be going. But I don't know what that orientation was, so. And. Okay, yeah, there's not a straight line. Like, a straight line to what? You just go, because you're underwater. Yeah, but I also could breathe underwater. So I assumed, oh, this game is dumb. I don't know how, I don't know how other people, like, felt about it. I know that, one. Well, I know, like, me and some other people were, like, it, you know, it really wasn't fair of Aaron to, like, be mad at her for that. Like, no, he wasn't mad, but to not be understanding, because it didn't feel like he understood, like, that it's a trend you started. Like, it's, it's like you and like, we understand that he's yo, you guys is his friends is his. So for you to be like, you know, you know, God damn it, Ross, you sadistic fuck. It's like, all right, that's your friend. Fine. But here's the thing. Aaron needs to understand, like he should understand by now this is the internet. And his fan, the, their fan base has done some shit. Like apparently there was this, uh, a walkthrough that was made for, a Zelda game they were playing. And apparently the walkthrough wasn't good. So some fans did that 4chan shit. Where they go find out who you are. And you know what your mother's maiden name is. And all that bullshit. And they had to kind of apologize to him. On the fans behalf. Because it's kind of their fault. That that dude got that kind of attention. So understand like. When you're. When the people you hang with. But the people that you entertain are capable of that kind of fuckery. 
you kind of need to just be aware that, yeah, hey, these people, although they're nice and they give me money for playing video games and hanging out with my friend, there's still people on the internet who kind of get attached to personalities a little too easily, like just a little too easily. And I'm not saying I don't, I, know, I don't mean to make it seem like it's Aaron's fault, but I can say like from the <clears throat> perspective of somebody, you know, just from an empathetic point of view, like the girl was probably like, well, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry you feel that way. I was just trying to, you know, stuff. And I feel like he should have like been able to understand that that was, that was kind of the point is that she wasn't trying to be mean to Ross. But the entire, like, because somebody pointed out, like, Aaron is sitting there telling this girl that people have feelings and yada, yada, yada. But, like, back in 2013, he was selling goddammit raw shirts. And I feel like it's funny to me specifically because even though Aaron doesn't, he comes off as this, like, I'm, but he still makes fun of or talks shit on people and things. Like, there was this whole bit they did, like, in one video where they were just shitting on all of Will Smith's, like, acting, like, career. Like, his whole fucking act, uh, acting career. And, like, I'm not saying... God damn. I'm not saying that you have to fucking like Will Smith's movies. You don't. Just, like, I don't like Megan Fox's movies. Like, I don't. Well, I like Turtles, and I like Transformers. But I don't like Megan Fox. But that's my... You know, that's my right. But... And I am not above sitting there saying... Megan Fox kidnapped her way out of a nutsack. Like, I'll say it and I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean, Mark? Mm -hmm. But, you know, he does stuff like that. You know, you sold a t-shirt. T-shirts that said, God damn it, Ross. And you did that for gain without considering, like, this is kind of blasphemous. Maybe this will be offensive to our, you know, religious fan base. Maybe... You know, even if you asked Ross, is it okay? And he was like, yeah, you didn't consider like, maybe people are going to take this like a uh, little out of proportion and, and kind of blow it up. Do you know what the next thing is? Where are you going? I'm running around. Why? People. Honestly, I don't care anymore. <laughs> like, I'm really just going through the fucking motions and following you. Because the thing is like, my whole thing is like, let's go forward. Because I'm trying not to move ahead without you. And then when I look back, you're just kind of like... There's going to be a cutscene before we do the next thing. So all right. You'll know. This is, yeah, the thing I was telling you earlier. Let me know what I'm looking for. But you weren't. And I didn't... Uh, reminding you to do the thing that is beneficial to us both. But I'm trying not to leave you behind. But so when I look back and you're running around in circles, I don't know what I'm waiting for. Like, I don't know if you know what the collectible is and you're trying to find it or, you know, whatever the fuck. So when I ask you what the fuck are you doing, I'm genuinely concerned and baffled because I don't know what's happening. I'm dead. What the fuck? Oh, God damn it. Like, see, it's good you told me that because there's no way the game would have told me. The game told you that. No, it didn't. I mean, the game does tell you that. No, it didn't. It didn't tell if me. It didn't, then the... Okay, well, they, if the game didn't tell you that, then the game fucked up, and that's okay. I was like, yeah, you're right. It is okay. Am I supposed to be going up this thing? Because I, I went for it. <laughs> like, I didn't know if that was supposed to be what I was doing, but it's what I... Guess there's bombs or something? Yeah. I'm dead now. Okay. I know that because the game told me. I don't give a fuck what the game told you. It's like, just know that, like, I don't give two shits what the game is informing you of when I don't know, I don't know. That's all I'm going to be able to tell you. And I'm not going to hesitate to be like, I didn't fucking know and I don't care if you did know. That's okay. <sighs> so this is the last piece of the trial for us. Because we had to do shit in threes like a proper video game. I'm honestly kind of surprised. I don't know, man. I don't... I, I just... I don't know. Aaron has done... Like, you understand, like, there's a video out there of, of Aaron and Susie having a conversation about Aaron saying the word nigger like a thousand times to, quote-unquote, get it out of his system. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like he needs to accept that the world is a weird place. And, you know, that whole, like, people should be happy bullshit. People, everybody can't be happy. Like, everybody can't be happy. Every, not everybody's going to not be offend, like, offended. And, like, that's kind of, like, why, like, people with that mentality kind of, like, baffle me. Like, the fact that they can actually think that this is how the world should be. No one can be that. There's never going to be a time in human history where everyone can be happy at the same time. Someone is I mean, going to be... It's about being perfect and more about being better. It doesn't have to be, like, the standard. But that's the problem. Like, nice. what's... It's... But that's kind of the thing. Like, it being better, like, you're still assuming that it can reach this, uh reach this weird non like realistic point where people stop making fun of other people like no i mean but regardless if you want change you have to try to make the change you can't just accept things the way they are yeah but different. i feel like you know what you have a point but here's the thing him ex him uh act like talking about it the way he did it led to this conversation and the and the comments b in below the video like so he didn't handle it the right way you know, okay, that's so it's right here. I think that, that's my personal opinion, which don't mean shit. I mean, that's a completely different situation. That's, I mean, the fact that he actively didn't do anything to make people stop doing it, and in fact, <laughs> encouraged it through selling merchandise and stuff about it. I mean, he had no right to react the way he did. Where is it? Because I don't see it. I mean, like, I, I, like, I feel like what he should have simply said was... We have to hurry, I think. Yeah, I think what he should have simply said was, um... Yeah, we have a time when we have to get over here. Yeah, I know, because it's, yeah, we're purging. I'm just making you very aware. No, I was, I was aware. That's why I was asking you where it was in such Behind a... Behind this desk. Did you, okay, you didn't find it. All right, we got it. Oh, there it is. It's a stapler. It's a leaf, it's a feather. Why wouldn't it be a fucking feather? Sure, why not? I guess we're doing this way now. Yeah, and I'm just saying, like, I guess how, I, I'm, how I'm looking at it is he should have understood that he kind of was the reason she thought it was okay to, to make that joke. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like if... I don't really know. Is there a specific place we're going or are we just waiting? No, nah, I think we're just waiting. It's kind of like if we, we, we built a fan base and they thought it was okay to make fun of, like, us because we make fun of each other. Like, no, that's not the case. Like, my, yeah, I thought that... That's the thing, though. If, if, okay, I stopped so, at 80%. If for whatever reason, you made, like, this whole catchphrase where it, every time I did something, it's like, you faggot. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and <laughs> you you didn't stop people from saying it. Like, ah, here we go. As if it's a catchphrase. It's like... Yeah, it's like, like that. that's kind of... Yeah, that's what... Yeah, it turns into that. Like, it, it's kind of like... But it, that's the thing, though. If you never told the audience, hey, like, it's we a do joke. this, you can't. Yeah, like, hey, it's he's our friend, and that's why we do this. Like, But don't take the liberties. Yeah, don't, don't assume that it's okay for you to do this. Oh, no. What happened? So, we got up after all that. Yeah. And we were walking our way out. Yeah. And when they asked us what our name was, we said Taylor. Oh. Martin Donlon. Hmm, that's really close to my name. So basically Taylor is inside of our is inside of us now. I guess so. So that means that the, the I don't fucking understand what that means. Skip. I guess I guess the AI one. That's what I'm kinda assuming that's what we're supposed to get out of that. Call of Duty is the outfit we unlocked. Oh, of yeah. Is. Another side of the story. Right, we got, got another trophy. Yeah. Alright, we're at 20 minutes. That's the end of the game, y'all. That's the fucking end. Now me and Mark have to go back and find the collectibles that we missed so we can get that one shitty-ass trophy and then move on with our lives and do something else. And this is a 20 minute video and it's the finale and the finale should always be a little bit longer. So yeah.
Um, was it going to kick us back to the main menu? Is it going to put us in the thing? What's going to happen? I don't know. I'm curious. I want you to find out with me. But yeah, again, I'm not shitting on Aaron. Like, I'm not. But I just, from the stand, from the other end of that, I would never do that. Like, I would never assume. I would never make the assumption that. Um, I would never make the assumption that the the joke, you know, the like it's like earlier when I was talking to uh, my homegirl, and she was like, I don't want to call him by his nickname, and he doesn't know me. Like that would be kind of rude. So like I wouldn't do that. But from the standpoint of somebody who like kind of real, like I'll be real with y'all, some YouTube fans are really deluded and don't really get that they aren't friends with these personalities. They just feel like they are because that's kind of the point is like the personalities on YouTube make you feel welcome and comfortable because that's good for business, but that's not what it is. You aren't their friend. And you kind of like, I'm just saying I under, I would understand what it would be like to be in on the, like to think you're in on the joke, have fun, but that person gets upset with you or it seems like they're upset with you. And then when you try to apologize, instead of them saying like, it's okay, like just, like, it's kind of on me. Like, I made it seem like that was cool, but it, it really is. Like, we, like, it's not, like, it's not, it's not nice. I shouldn't have been doing that. I shouldn't have made it seem like that was okay for people to do. But instead, it kind of, like, goes on about how, like, you know, people have feelings and this. All, like, you started it, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. I mean, ego, you ain't gonna see this video. But by all means, like, I got number of respect for you for the most part, even after that whole nigger thing. Like... <laughs> I got nothing but respect for you, pimping. I'm just saying, like, in retrospect, you probably thought about it. But, yeah, the comment section was... I'm not... Just know that I'm not the only one. Like, there were other people who were like, wow, he was really harsh on that girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the, play, the, 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 for the series. The next... I think uh, the next thing would be the debut of Career Mode. And I'm not quite sure what game. Probably either Tony Hawk's or Mario Super, uh, Super Strikers. Mario Strikers. But until then, we're out of here. Peace.